Hey everybody and welcome back. Well, have you ever had that situation where you were working in Maya and you were working towards a deadline and you know it's uh, crunch time and suddenly Maya freezes, right? Or a menu doesn't show up or something else happens, right? It doesn't happen a lot, but when it happens, it's very frustrating. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix most problems and I'll explain that for Windows users, Mac users and Linux users, right? Here we go. This video has been sponsored by Bloop Animation. If you want to learn 2D or 3D animation, the principles of any animation, storyboarding foundations, or even how to create an entire animated movie, then just follow the link in the description and you will get a begin to end course while supporting my channel at no extra expense to you. Okay guys, well, welcome to this how to fix video, right? Well, the reason why I'm doing this is I ran into trouble in Maya. Um, I'll show you what's going on. If I go up to, let's say, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, and I click on that, nothing happens, right? No Option Box uh, menu. Also, if I go to, let's say, Windows, Settings Preferences, and click on Preferences, no pop-up menus either, right? Now, I know there are a lot of people online saying, well, check your other monitor or it's hidden and all kind of stuff. That's not the case, trust me. So the fix that we're gonna apply here is we're going to rename the preferences folder so Maya can't find the preferences file anymore and will ask you to create a new one once you reboot. Now, before I um, explain how that works, uh, what is a preference folder? Well, when you start working in Maya for the first time, you got a certain layout. You got your windows in a certain place, your menus, your menu buttons, and so forth, right? And over time, as you use Maya, you're gonna customize it. You're gonna move things around, you're gonna add buttons, you're gonna remove buttons, you're gonna rename labels, and so forth, right? Now, uh, that's all stored in your preferences folder. So if you rename that or delete that, what will happen is you will lose that information. So be aware, right? Okay. Now, uh, so before we get into that, I'm gonna explain how to do this on a Mac, on a Windows machine, and on a Linux machine, okay? Now, the biggest part here is to find where that folder is. So if you're working on a Mac, right, what you can do is you're gonna go into the Finder, you're gonna click on the Go menu, and then you're gonna click on Go to Folder. Then you're gonna use the path that's on the screen right here, right? So users followed by your username, followed by library, preferences, Autodesk, Maya, and then your Maya version, right? So let's say 2019, okay? Then what you can do is you're gonna click on go or press enter. You're gonna locate the preferences folder that you're using right now, and you're gonna rename that to prefs old, right? Now, once you've done that, you're gonna restart Maya, and when you're prompted, because it's not gonna be able to find your preferences file anymore, uh, to create a new one, you're gonna do that, right? Okay, and then, let's see, if you're on a Windows machine, different path, of course, you will use your Explorer to navigate to that directory. It's gonna be C, your C drive, users, followed by your username, followed by my documents, Maya, and then your version, let's say, 2019, okay? going to go in there, you're going to find that preferences folder, you're going to rename it again to press old, restart Maya, and when you're prompted, select the option to create a new default preference. Right, and then finally, on a Linux, you're going to open a file, file explorer to navigate to the following directory, which is going to be username Maya followed by version. You can locate that preferences folder again, rename it, restart Maya, and do the same thing. That's all there is to it. So once you've done that, you have a new preferences file in a new preferences folder, and you should be okay. Now, if that still doesn't fix the problem you're encountering, then I suggest you check out the help desk at Autodesk, right? Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps. Let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos, and see you guys next time. Bye.